what's going on guys I'm the walrus Jedi and in today's video I will be doing the top 10 worst EU novels that I have read thus far and just for your information uh, I haven't read every single EU book so this will I've read Dawn of the Jedi into the void to the novelization of Empire Strikes Back and uh, there are a few books in that span that I have not read, and uh, those books are Outbound Flight, Choices of One, and Allegiance, Tales of the New Republic, and Tales of the Empire, and then there are two books that I did not finish reading, and that is the novelization of the Clone Wars movie and the Lando Adventures, so none of those will be on this list, obviously, because... I haven't read them or did not finish reading them so yeah if you like this video then please consider liking and subscribing for more uh, Star Wars videos in the future and there will be some spoilers for these books but nothing yeah but there will be some spoilers so this is your warning if you care of course these aren't that great of books but number 10 Star Wars Rogue Planet by Greg Beer. It's set in 29 BBY or 29 years before A New Hope. We follow Obi-Wan and Anakin Skywalker on a mission to Zona Zonama Sakat to uncover the whereabouts of Vergare, a Jedi who went missing at that planet, and to purchase a, a Sakatan spacecraft. This book was weird with the Sakatan ships, which are living, and I did find this book a little boring, a little dull. Um, yeah. One thing that I do like is the subplot in this book with uh, Sinar and Tarkin making plans regarding the Death Star, like kind of setting up some stuff regarding the Death Star. I found that could be kind of cool. Number nine, Star Wars Red Harvest by Joe Schreiber. This book is set 3,645 BBY or, well, you know, it's, you know what BBY is now, so. And it serves as a prequel to the novel Death Troopers. Darth Scabrus acquires a black orchid, which he needs for his experiments to cheat death, but uh, he ends up basically turning himself and several other uh, Sith apprentices at the Academy uh, into zombies. So, yeah. And then our hero, Hestizo Trace, has to evade all the zombies and whatever. Yeah, whoop to do whatever. Yeah. This book is not even close to the quality of Death Troopers. And uh, I didn't care for Hestizito Trace. I, I found her to be a lame uh, character. Spoiler alert, she's the only one that lives in the book. Of any of the characters in the book, she's the only one that lives. Number eight, Star Wars Shatterpoint by Matthew Stover. This, uh, it's set in 22 BBY, and uh, it's at the start of the Clone Wars. We follow Mace Windu as he tries to rescue his former Padawan, Depa Balaba, on his homeworld of Haroon Kal which is a dangerous jungle planet. And uh, I found this book, um, well, I didn't enjoy it, really. I think it's uh, too, I don't know, psychological, philosophical. I don't know. It, it almost seems kind of, I don't know, kind of like that. Kind of very, very uh, in, the, in the mind. Yeah, like oh, Mace Windu basically, I mean, Mace Windu almost goes, crazy almost turns to the dark side basically it sounds like Haroon call is a well it's a hellhole basically so not a place you would want to visit number seven star wars the han solo adventures by brian daly and uh yeah this one this one might uh take some people off i don't know i i've you know from what i can gather these these three seem to be liked but uh yeah these uh, three stories, they take place uh, between two BBY and one BBY. Uh, and then you have Han Solo at Star's End. 
uh, which Han and Chewie rescue a friend from a prison. Han Solo's revenge. Han and Chewie take a job to get 10,000 credits, but they're betrayed. And then the last one, Han Solo and the Lost Legacy. Han and Chewie attempt to recover uh, Zim the Despot's horde. So at, at Star's End, I found a bit boring. Han Solo's revenge was disappointing. The revenge part was a bit lackluster. And the Lost Legacy, uh, I thought was actually pretty good. So number six, Star Wars, The Clone Wars, Wild Space by Karen Miller. Set 22 BBY. Uh, we follow Obi-Wan and Bail Organa as they go to Zagula and get a Sith Holocron. The beginning of the book, with the aftermath of the Battle of Geonosis and that on Coruscant and stuff, is very interesting. And the end on Zagula was also really great. It's the middle part. The leaving Coruscant to go to Zagula with Bail and Obi-Wan, that is kind of boring. It's way too long. It's way too much of the book. That's the problem. A little of that was fine. Yeah, because all it is is it's Obi-Wan and, and Bale interacting with each other, getting on each other's nerves and yeah, stuff like that. And it's like, if that wasn't like half the book, it'd be this. This actually would be a pretty good book, but it's too much. Number five, you have Star Wars, The Old Republic Fatal Alliance by Sean Williams. And it's obviously part of the uh, series that ties into the game Star Wars The Old Republic. It's set 3,643 BBY. Uh, we follow a few characters who represent the Jedi, the Republic, the Sith Empire, uh, bounty hunters, you know, a bunch of other stuff. Yeah. And they, they all go to an auction, a HUD auction. And uh, what's on the auction is this uh, these droids that are extremely dangerous. And basically everyone teams up to stop the droids. whoop de doo yeah, yeah. I found this book to be a bit forgettable, honestly. Uh, and I didn't like the droid aspect of this book. So I guess, yeah, I don't know. Uh, it, it kind of felt a little, maybe too much sci-fi. Well, Star Wars is sci-fi. Well, maybe that's just me, but I didn't, I didn't care for the droids. The team up idea, uh, I kind of like though. I thought that was a good idea, so interesting. Number four, Star Wars Galaxies: The Ruins of Dantooine by Veronica Whitney Robinson with Hayden Blackman. Uh, it's set one ABY, or a year before, or rather a year after A New Hope. And we follow Dusk, Mistflyer, and Finn Dartrin as they recover a holocron in the Jedi temple ruins on Dantooine. Put simply, this book sucks. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's it's not that great. Uh, it's not that great. It takes way too long to get to Dantooine. Uh, like, the first half of the book is Dusk gallivanting around, looking for all sorts of crap. I don't know, it's, it's dull. Don't read it. it skip. Yeah. Number three, Star Wars Clone Wars Gambit Stealth by Karen Miller, set 21 BBY. And uh, yeah, Obi-Wan and Anakin are sent to the Outer Rim planet Lantib to see why the Separatists are so interested in the planet. And they find out that uh, the Seps are developing a biological virus there. So cool. Uh, this book, beyond boring and really a complete waste of your time. So. It isn't that interesting. So, and now I'm going to do some dishonorable mentions. Uh, we have Razor's Edge by Martha Wells, which, you know, basically this is a Princess Leia novel uh, dealing with pirates and, yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. It's not that great. It's not my favorite book, but. And then Knight Errant by John Jackson Miller. And Knight Errant Night Errant, we follow a Jedi, uh, oh, what's her name? Kara Holt, there we go, uh, as, uh, she, and it's set, um, in the Old Republic time, can't remember the exact date, but who cares, uh, yeah, she's, uh, hanging out in the Sith territory, 
and she's there kind of basically she's trying to take the Sith down from inside the Sith Empire and yeah it's the premise is interesting but I think the execution is not that great and uh, Kara Holt is probably the least interesting character in the book so number two Star Wars the Clone Wars Gambit Siege by Karen Miller Man, all of Karen Miller's Star Wars books are, are on here, so uh, I don't think I would uh, be interested in her writing any more Star Wars. So, And this is a continuation of Stealth, so it's set 21 BBY. Obi-Wan and Anakin endure a blockade on Lanteeb, and they prevail and say blah, blah, whatever they win. Again, dull and boring, like the previous book, skip. Um, and then number one is Star Wars Dawn of the Jedi Into the Void by Tim Lebin, uh, and it's set 25,793 BBY. Uh, we follow Lenore Brock, a Jedi Ranger, as she stops her brother, who is a leader of a cult, and they're trying to use a cosmic gateway to go elsewhere. Uh, it's dangerous because it uses dark matter to activate so it could destroy the galaxy. Wah, wah. Yeah. Long story short, don't read this trash. Um, the Jedi. Uh, now, I, I haven't read the comics, but as in terms of the Jedi in this book, I don't like them. Uh, the, it's like they can just, I don't know, whatever. I don't like them. They, they don't have lightsabers. They basically have enchanted just regular swords. Now, I like swords, but this is Star Wars. I want lightsabers with my Jedi, so thumbs down. And then Lenora uses, I don't know, some weird thing that feels Sith magic to heal herself that felt, it just felt, this isn't what a Jedi would do, uh, in all honesty. It didn't feel like force healing. It felt like some weird, weird, I don't know. It was eh, trash. Don't read. Uh, yeah, well... Yeah, that's the list. Um, are there any that you uh, disagree with? Are there any books that you've read that uh, should be on this list? And obviously, there I'm sure there are books that I haven't got to uh, that will probably go on the list. So, uh, yes, I, you know, I will do a new list next year. But, yeah. Um, yeah. Overall, for the most part... Uh, the expanded universe has been pretty good, like quality wise. Like, yes, there's some duds, but for the most part, I mean, some of these books I actually, I don't hate, you know, there's, there's some of these that are actually decent. They're just, you know, not good. Uh, so yeah, well, you can let me know your thoughts, uh, in the comment section down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and until next time, thanks for watching.